Welcome to the 10th anniversary of a novel idea read together. Enjoy this retrospective as we go back in time and revisit the authors who've come to our area, the books that we've read together, and the ideas that we've shared. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the last 10 years of a novel idea. Shonaki means messenger in the old Scottish Gaelic. What I said in Scottish Gaelic was, welcome, messenger. Offer questions over answers, reflection over rhetoric, compassion over aggression. I noticed somebody put this here, too. It's like unwrapping a present every year when we get to planning the programs. Because like, where are we going to go this year? What are we going to do? And it is as much a surprise for us as it is for Deschutes County residents. And that's what makes programming Novel Ideas so much fun. I'm very moved by how people are responding to the novel. And it's been just fantastic. It's, you know, everywhere I go, and people are reading the book, they're talking about it. My country that's thousands of miles away is alive in the minds and, uh, of, of people in Central Oregon. So it's very rewarding. Becoming a writer was tough, is because I knew four English words. Uh, hello, goodbye, thank you, and for a very obscure reason, the word gluttony. <laughs> we had about 600 people participate in the first program. Uh, ten years later, it's grown to the point where thousands of people participate every year. Uh, more than 100 book clubs, and it's really been embraced by the community. Read it at several layers, you know, from a fun, entertaining read to uh, a story that goes deep. My grandma detected that I told many stories, uh, but that I never really gave the disclaimer that they were made up. <laughs> so technically, they were lies. Okay, guys, let's go! I want to take a picture of you, is that okay? <laughs> Say hello! We'll join the rocks for ages and ship and There must have been 15 different ways that he helped me from the very beginning at Oregon, teaching us uh, vocabulary words during team meetings, the sense of a story well told. The real legacy, I think, that Bill left was whatever you're doing, do it because you really love to do it. I've always been involved with libraries from the time I was a child when we moved into Eugene and I've always loved to read and it's been the most important thing I have supported in this community to have a good library. This is the very first time I've ever was met at the airport by someone wearing a t-shirt with the image of my book. <laughs> so I have to say I, I've been absolutely overwhelmed by the response here in Bend. It was, uh, this is an amazing community and I, and I am absolutely, absolutely thrilled to be here. Thank you all for coming. A woman by the name of Michi Yasui Ando was being asked back by the University of Oregon to walk through the graduation ceremony that she had been prevented from going through in the spring of 1942. I try to write the small story that connects people and opens up to the bigger ideas. What I've enjoyed about the Novel Idea Program is it has allowed me to explore books that I would not have normally selected. We already have people that love our library, that use our library, are avid readers, and a Novel Idea is their chance once a year to celebrate that. Okay, 
wonderful. I was very impressed with it, particularly being a first novelist. An important thing to do as, as a way to represent the South. There were times in the book when we were all really angry because of the mistreatment and the and the prejudice and the lack of equality. You threw your book down. I did. I threw the book across the room twice. <laughs> excited that a community is coming together to talk about books. It's just fantastic. I put the book aside and I said, I'll get to it. And I got to it. And in two nights, I completed it <laughs> from cover to cover. I think it is my job as a writer to do everything I can to help a reader understand what it feels like to be in someone else's shoes. I ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Oh Lord, oh my Lord. The most incredible news that I have about Octavia is that she has been offered to play the part of Minnie in the movie. I said, so what do you do? And she said, well, I'm about to write a book. <laughs> and I said, great. <laughs> and she said, and I want you to read it when it's done. I said, okay, I will. Selections are made in a smart way and in such a thoughtful way to read a book that uh, may change the way you look at the world. Red Capitol, and Teddy Wayne did a great job in illustrating corporate America and life in America. Catherine Stockett, author of The Help Here last year, compared with her book, um, you know, mine uh, got so much more attention and, and sales. Do you have any advice for aspiring novelists it's out there? It can't be an easy process. Yeah, don't write a book with five things you don't know anything about. I asked uh, Chantal what people did previous years here. And she said a lot of people just give readings. And the problem, if you've ever been to a fiction reading, you know, they're, they can actually be kind of boring. Um, and I said, she said some people did lectures on their books, um, which are even more boring. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna combine the two and just be so boring, goes back around to interesting. You could, felt like you could step back. Do you want a drink? <laughs> it's considered a bitsy. <laughs> Toast to dressing up! The novel idea is one of the gems of Central Oregon. The fact that you have five to 10,000 people reading the same book at the same time, it's got to be remarkably unique. This is uh, one of the things that makes Central Oregon so remarkable. It's no, no rules of spilling. <laughs> Imagine sort of being at the end of the 19th century and how few books you really needed to read to be well read. That's absolutely what's been restored in this county through this program. I congratulate the community for setting it up. I, I, I appreciate being invited to be a part of it. The Deschutes Public Library wishes to thank all of you for your participation over the last 10 years. We would also like to acknowledge and thank our sponsors who have made a novel idea possible for all of our communities. Together, we have grown the largest and most successful community read program in the state of Oregon. Here's to another 10 years of a novel idea. Thank you.